Hello, everybody. My name is Aaron Claiborne. I'm the Outreach Specialist for the Engagement to Recovery Program with Wisconsin Voices for Recovery. Today, I have Dan here with me to share his experience of stigma. How's it going today, Dan? It's going real good. Aaron, how are you doing? I'm here, man, I'm, and I'm happy to be here. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, the first question I'd like to ask you is, how does stigma harm people who are seeking or in recovery? Uh, I guess I um, my experience is mostly from a seeking uh, point of view, but I think ultimately peop, uh, stigma results uh, in people getting less resources, people getting less help, people getting less assistance, people getting less support. Um, ultimately, ultimately, ultimately uh, stigma results, I think, in, in people get, not getting the resources that they need, um, whether they be seeking recovery or in recovery, um, whether that be subconsciously. I mean, you, you know, people, you know, just automatically gravitate to other people and want to help other people more than other people. Definitely. Um, or uh, formally, I mean, you, in the homeless world, uh, people get stigmatized as uh, all kinds of things. Being homeless, I mean, is just a stigma right there. I mean, it, it, especially if you're in recovery or seeking recovery. Um, other types of stigma, you know, can result in you getting getting less housing or getting less system, get, getting less resources. Uh, formally so whether it be subconsciously or or formally or ends up in that person not getting the resources that they need that's true and um you know it's a shame people want to you know see a person from you know their their struggles as opposed to the person who they really are and it you know it's very devastating thank you for that now i would like to ask you um why does stigma have such a negative influence on people battling substance use disorder when they are seeking treatment? Uh, it, I think it has uh, such an influence on people in, seeking treatment for substance use because, um, I, and first of all, it, I mean, sometimes a lot of that is is compounded. I mean, uh, using substances is a result of something else, some type of other uh, issues or uh, stigma that they may have um, and be using because of that reason. Uh, it also, I think, especially with people seeking recovery, um, you get stigmatized. I mean, uh, you, you, especially people that end up homeless that are seeking recovery. I mean, they've burned a lot of bridges. They've they've uh, they've made a they, they've uh, made a lot of enemies. They you know, there's a lot of people that don't talk to them anymore. So uh, you um, you, you know that that stigma is real um, in it for people that are using substances and and um, uh. I think that makes it more, a lot of people look at it as something as you choose, right? So right. then uh, that makes it even harder. It, you know, you just can't choose back just as easy as that. And then a lot of people don't get that. So um, I think that makes it really difficult for people that substances because it looks like they cho chose it. And, you know, they've, they've had a lot of, they've had a lot of shame in the past, usually by the time they end up on the street. So, you know, that, that stigma has kind of been reinforced by some of their actions too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I get that. I agree. Um, yeah. The, the understanding that some people have is that people choose to be, become homeless. People choose to, you know, have issues with addiction and addictions. And that's just not so, um, and it's a terrible way to look at things. Um, so thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers in our last 30 seconds um, or so? No, I just uh, want to be a part of this. Stigma is an important issue for us. Uh, we spend a lot of time with our crew, our team, which is mostly volunteers, making sure people understand they can't prioritize people and they need to treat people equally that come up to the bus asking for a meal. Um, so this is an important issue for me. I'm happy to help out. All right. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Let's keep pushing forward to break the stigma. Thank you very much for being there. I appreciate it. Yep, you're welcome. Oh, thank, thank you. All right, everybody, please check back with us to see uh, others sharing their experience with Sigma. 
Have a great rest of your day.